What's going on, my little bundle of chestnuts? It's a girl, Kate Winchester here. And the reason why I'm making this video is not because of you guys, per se. It's mainly just other people, <laughs> you know? Like, um, it's no secret that I have a boyfriend in London and that I plan to go see him. But y'all, <laughs> there's some people here that are, like, criticizing my relationship. And they're like, oh my god, what if he's a cat? fish or like you know there was one comment on there from from youtube but like that was just you know you guys caring about me and and stuff and i love you too but he's not <laughs> you know why because i'm not stupid like i video chatted with him before we officially called ourselves boyfriend and girlfriend you know so um no <laughs> he's not a catfish okay and and there are some that are like, you have a boyfriend in London? That's not you guys, but there are some people that are like, you know, like, you have a boyfriend in London? Do you know if he's, like, for real your boyfriend? Or are you just lonely and want to pretend like you have a long-distance relationship? Fuck you, if you said that. <laughs> if you're somebody who said that on my Instagram, fuck you, okay? Um... I, shut up, Savannah. I love this guy, okay? And I wouldn't say it's like, you know, true love at first sight or whatever, because I don't believe in that, you know? But like, ugh, ugh, I took the time to get to know this person, okay? And um, for those of you that are just like, you know, ugh, I don't even know how to say it, but like, it's my relationship, not yours, okay? So, I'm not yelling at you guys. I'm yelling at whoever the fuck <laughs> has a problem with my relationship. Like, this is my life. It's my love life. And I'm 18 years old. Technically, I can leave the country if I want to. I'm talking to my dad about that. Because, you know, I was talking to my dad about it and he was like, oh, I'm not going to let you go by yourself. But, like, I'm 18. By law, I can go leave the country if I want to, so. But, oh, God. There's just a lot of people that have, like, questions about my relationship and that's fine. Like, you can have a question, but just don't be condescending about it, you know, like... Like, yes, I'm aware of the dangers of long-distance relationships. That's why you don't be retarded, okay? That's why you don't... It, internet dating is kind of like a rule of thumb for life. Don't be an idiot. Like, that's kind of for everything, really, you know? So, like, you can't say, I'm in love with this guy, we're gonna get married. But, like, you haven't video chatted with him. You haven't FaceTimed with them. You haven't, like, you haven't made plans and asked them questions, you know, like, so I'm in love with this person and I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Our love is real. And I know that I sound like that emo 15-year-old girl that is like, I know it's real. I know. I know it. I can feel it in my heart. Like, I know it's real. But for real, though, it's my relationship, Okay. So, if you guys are worried about me, I, I get it, and thank you, but I'm fine, okay? Um, I don't even really know how I must stress that it's my relationship, okay? There are some of you that are, like, genuinely concerned about me flying out to London. Like, what if he's a catfish? Be careful, girl. Like, thank you, <laughs> but... I video chatted with him. I don't know how many times I must stress. I video chatted with him more than once. I have seen his face. I have heard his voice. Best fucking voice ever, by the way. And, uh, So, for the boys or the girls who are just jealous because I'm in a relationship and you didn't have a chance, thank you, but it's okay, honey. I still love you. Um... No, I'm just playing. I hate myself. But for those of you who are literally just like, your love isn't real. You're in London. Like, he's in London. Like, get your head out of the clouds. Somebody actually said that on Instagram. Fuck you if you're watching this. Fuck you, okay? So, 
Worry about your own relationship is what I'm trying to say, okay? And again, there's a lot, there's a main majority, there's a majority of you guys on here that are like, be careful, like, we just want to help you, like, thank you, and thank you. I'm fine, okay? And for those of you who are legitimately concerned, thank you, I love you, and I totally understand where you're coming from. In this day and age with internet dating, there are a lot of girls or guys who end up dead on the side of the road, but that's not going to be me because my stepmom and I have taken precaution. So when I go to London, I'm going to be texting her like, you know, fried chicken. That is our um, code word. So, um, you know, if I am in danger, because I mean, I'm not saying that I trust this guy 100%. You know, as much as I would love to, I have been hurt in the past. So... You know, like whenever I text him and he doesn't respond, but I said, but it says delivered, I get freaked out. I get a little spooked because I have been hurt in the past. I have been ignored. I have been mentally abused. I have been heartbroken multiple times. So I'm not saying that I 100% trust this guy and I'm like head over heels. I'm like, fuck me, daddy, till my face falls off. You know what I mean? <laughs> but... <laughs> That's a plus. However, uh, <laughs> I... Mm. I really don't know where else to, where, what else to say other than I have been watching Web of Lies with my stepdad. No, actually, scratch that. My parents forced me to watch that. They're like, since you like internet naming, and I'm like, you guys met online. <laughs> like my stepmom and my dad met online in a relationship. Like my dad, my mom and my stepdad met online in a relationship. <laughs> so hypocrites. No, I'm just playing, but um I lost my train of thought. I need to hurry up and get back to cleaning, but I just needed to stress this out because I've gotten a lot of DMs over the past week of like, you know, some of them were really nice and just be like, hey, just be careful. And I appreciate that. Thank you. But there are some that are like, your relationship is fake. Or like, why are you being so fake? If you want to just go to London, then just go to London. So... There is, my stepmom and I have gone over different scenarios. So like, you know, what if you guys get to the hotel room and he's forcing you to do something that you don't want to do? And um, I wouldn't just say, no, I don't, I don't want to, I don't think so. I would just be like, no, don't touch me. But I don't think that would happen because one of our rules in DDLG is consent. And he even let me know, he's like, hey, your first rule is a safe word. So I, w I was asking him what my rules were, and he said that consent was my number one rule. So I doubt that he would do that to me. But, you know, if something happens or, like, I lead him on and he gets offended or something like that, then, you know, and yes, I'm messing with my chest pimple. Leave it alone. Um, it looks so gross. Anyway, um... <laughs> So, my point is, I've gone over different scenarios, I would be fine, I will be fine, okay? And my stepmom knows my code word, and I would include it, and my best friend knows my code word too. So, like, you know, I mean, my best friend and I have a different code word than my stepmom and I, but, um, you know, my code word, I'm letting you guys know, so that, you know, if I'm doing a vlog or something, and I feel like I'm in danger, I can just very subtly include it, you know what I mean? So that, you know, so that if you guys live in London, call 999 or, you know, fried chicken, okay? Like, I mean, if it's something like we're going to go get fried chicken for dinner, then don't, like, take that seriously because we might be getting fried chicken for dinner, like, you don't know. But if I include it more than once, you know, then that's where you guys get a little jealous or, like, not jealous, I don't know why I said that word, but that's why you guys, that is when you guys know, like, oh shit, you know? So my step, my word with my stepmom is fried chicken. That way, like, I was hungry, okay? 
first of all. And second of all, like, I don't really enjoy fried chicken that much. I just, it's more like smothered barbecue. It's more like smothered chicken or like barbecue chicken. You know, like the kind of, you know, like where it has barbecue sauce all over it. And then you go to take a bite and you get barbecue sauce like all over your face. And it's so fucking good and you just don't care. So there! You know, like, that's my, that's my kind of chicken. But, fried chicken. That's my code word. Because I wouldn't necessarily, like, want to get fried chicken. So, if I'm just like, hey, we're having fried chicken for dinner. Um, my stepmom would be like, are you okay? And if I say fried chicken more than once, then that's where you get jealous. Or, like, why do I keep saying jealous? Fuck. That is when you get, um aware and just be like oh shit she's in danger you know um with my best friend it's something different but you know so fried chicken is my code word so you guys you guys need to you guys need to know that that way if I feel like I'm in danger you know I'll say fried chicken subtly in a sentence and then you guys can be like shit okay but for real though um, there are a lot of you that are con- that are caring and concerned about my relationship, and then there are some that are like, so you're like planning to go to London to get married? That's like so not real. Fuck you, okay? Like, bitch, you have like three baby daddies and you're only 17. I wouldn't if I were you, honestly. Um... There's, like, a few of them that are just... (sighs) The cleaning supplies went boop and then fell. But anyways, um, so some of you that care about me and you need to know a few things, then just ask me a few questions in the comments below and then I will make a video answering your questions. Um, But for those of you who are just, like, condescending about it, that is who I am addressing in this video. Um, so, um, I will try to answer your questions as politely as possible, but if it's condescending, I can't promise anything. <laughs> so, yeah. So, my stepmom and I have gone over a few good scenarios too, you know, just like maybe like surprising kind of scenarios, but not bad or. You know, just like, so what if you come back from London with a big belly? Like, what are you going to do? Meaning pregnant, you know. And I was like, well, because she said, you ain't having no babies here. Like, because she has to sleep because she, you know, she works at night. So um, I I looked at her and I was like, if I come back from London pregnant, I'm going to show you the pictures and be like, (laughs) deuces, bye. I just came here for a visit. Like, peace. I would obviously let them know that I was only going to come back and visit and go back to London to stay. And if they asked me why, I'd be like, you'll find out. <laughs> or maybe if or if I happen to get married and this ring is on my left hand. I'm not engaged or anything. I just... I'm lonely, okay? So, um, it's more like a promise ring. Not, a, not an engagement ring, but more like... A promise ring so like you know if somebody's like hey I want to be your boyfriend or your girlfriend I could just be like sorry you know like yeah so I don't know why I just fell I'm clumsy okay so yeah so if I come back from London engaged I will let you know and I'm actually gonna ask him if he feels like proposing um then I need to vlog it you know Because I really want you guys to be included in that kind of thing. And I would probably vlog my wedding too and be like all Tana Mojo up in this bitch. But honestly though, um, I honestly feel like those of you that have a problem with my relationship can... um, I don't... How do I say this politely? Oh, go suck a dick. For those of you that don't like my relationship or have a problem with my relationship go eat a dick. But for those of you who are like, wow, I'm so happy for you. Just be careful. Thank you. I love you. So it's more like a very passive aggressive fuck you to those of you who 
couldn't give a shit and you're just like so you're going to London that's so tacky So, um, I feel like if I am pregnant when I come back from London, because that's a big possibility too, like I'm probably going to lose my virginity in London, I'm just saying. <laughs> you guys are like six, I have like 680 something, something best friends, um, so I might, I may lose my virginity when I go to London. Like, yeah, that's, that's a real, that's a real possibility, you guys, because we would probably be together for like a year, maybe two years when I go to London, maybe even three years if I can't get the money in time. So it's a very real possibility, you know, my stepmom even said that she wouldn't be surprised and she wouldn't even be upset about it as long as I'm safe. Or if I get pregnant, her words, not mine, stay over there. <laughs> because I live here in America, so yeah. But I doubt that I'm going to come back pregnant because I'd be like 19 or 20, something along there. Maybe even 21. I don't want to have kids until I'm like 22. But if it happens, it happens. I'm not going to get an abortion or do adoption. I think the only time I would ever do adoption is if I had no way of taking care of this baby. You know what I mean? But if I do get pregnant, it would have a loving father and a great home with loving and supportive parents. So, so yeah. Um, for those of you who want a baby chestnut up in here, like, give some likes maybe. <laughs> But, you know, I, I really want kids, so um, coming back from London pregnant would be amazing, honestly. Um, so, those of you who um, have opinions about me dating somebody and you don't like that I'm dating somebody oh well you know like it's not your relationship so it's fine but thank you for the ones that are supportive and are just like I just want you to be safe thank you that's actually really appreciated but I already told you my code word so if I feel like I'm in trouble or like in danger then, and I feel like I have myself in a pickle, then I would be like, yo, let's get some fried chicken. Let's get some fried chicken. Like, you know. But I honestly don't feel like that would happen. But again, I'm not 100% trusting this person. It's more like 85%, maybe 90. So, just know that this time, with my online relationship, I'm being smart about it because I've been heartbroken even in not in an online relationship, even in like a real life relationship, you know, I've been heartbroken by Eli, I've been heartbroken by Wolfie, I've been heartbroken by a lot of people. So it's really hard to fully trust this person anyway, you know what I mean? But it's no, it's no doubt that this person makes me really happy and I'm happiest when I'm in a video chat with him or when I'm texting him or, you know, thinking about our future together and just, I can't stop smiling now. I'm probably blushing. But honestly, though, I'm in love. And I feel like if you have a problem with my relationship, you should just be happy for me or, like, be happy that I'm in love. Like, even if you don't like the thought of me going to London because you don't want something to happen to me. Just be happy for me. You know, like, that's my 
advice to you for those of I'm not trying to say like you need to be happy for me like seriously like be happy for me I'm making this video so you can be happy for me I need attention and validation we're not doing a mojo but for real though um if you that's my genuine advice to you just like yeah I love Kate Winchester I just I don't want her to get hurt or you know just be happy for me like that's my advice for you um and if you aren't happy with this relationship at all well then that sucks now don't it sucks to suck however um so yeah um so i don't really know what else to say other than if you want to see um my vlog to london let me know and if you don't want to see it too bad but um i'm not want to be one of those people that like shoves my relationship down your throat and just like look be happy for me i'm in love woohoo i just wanted to be like i needed to address the situation of like there are people out there who are trying to bring me down in this relationship. So. That's what this video is. But. If you. Really, 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 really. Are concerned about me. I'm fine, baby. I'm fine, honey. I'm fine. So. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know it took forever and it's just me rambling or whatever, but honestly, um, honestly, okay, question of the day. If I come back from London pregnant and I show you, <laughs> what would, would you guys be like happy and you would want a family vlog or whatever, or like, would you want a day-to-day -day vlog of my pregnancy and then my baby being born and, and shit like that like honestly though I wouldn't want my first trip from London making me being pregnant because that's a little that's a little fast but whatever happens happens you know if I get pregnant I want it to be like my second trip maybe my third you know but if I come back pregnant well shit I'm pregnant cool like <laughs> I wouldn't be disappointed about it, is what I'm saying. I wouldn't be disappointed about it. And I would, I would be happy, you know, because I've always wanted to be a mother, but it's still a little fast. So I'd probably be, I would probably be like, you better not say that you don't love me now, because, oops. <laughs> it would probably be an oops moment. I'm not even gonna lie I was an accident too so it's fine um I was an oops so if I have an oops then I have an oops it wouldn't be an oops for very long it would be like a yay we're pregnant mostly because we have to accept it <laughs> but it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a curse really whatever God wants to happen is gonna happen is what I'm saying so anyways um so yeah, question of the day. If an oops happens, would you want me to vlog the oops? Not the oops happening, that'd be weird. But <laughs> um, I'd probably make a lot of money for that. But no, for real though, um, that was a joke. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> um, if you guys want, um, if something happens and uh-oh, uh, uh -oh, SpaghettiOs, you know, like, would you want me to show you, like, um, like, take you to doctor's visits, freaking, like, taking you to freaking, um, you know, like, literally just, like, vlogging the day-to-day -day life? Let me know if you guys would want that, because I'm totally all about, like, you know, my babies, like, look at my baby, look at my baby. I'd probably do that anyways, but... If you guys don't want it, then I'll try to, like, only do that, like, once a month, maybe. But anyways, I love you guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Stay body positive. Kate Winchester out. Hasta la bye-bye. And God bless your nutty little hearts. 
And don't forget to go nuts. <laughs>